guys, this is Jill from Bantings Nursery and today we're going to talk about rose pruning techniques. When you go out to prune your roses, you need to start with a little basic knowledge about the variety and types of roses that you prune. We carry, at Bantings Nursery, we carry anything from climbers to ramblers, floribundas, English garden roses, grandifloras. So it's good to know what kind of variety rose, what type rose bush you have and to get a little bit of basic knowledge about how that rose bush grows before you start your pruning. It's always great to have a good pair of rose pruning gloves. These are nice and thick, good quality, and they're longer, so they're gonna color, cover your arm as you reach into your rose bush. You need to start with a good set of bypass pruners. It's real important that you have a sharp set of pruners because when you go to cut your rose bush, you don't want to crush the stem. So, clean, sharp. I usually clean my pruners before and after every time I prune a rose bush with um, a nice soft cotton cloth and rubbing alcohol. So here we have a bud and this bud ha is just about to break and when I say break it's swollen right now. Uh, when in the winter time when the buds are dormant you'll just see just a little bit of a red bump. But now you can see the tissue, the leaf tissue starting to develop. What this will actually end up being, this will be a stem. Um, so the bud has swollen and it's starting to break. And the next thing you'll see is a set of leaflets. You don't wanna make a flat cut because the sap in the stem will build up and you want that to, to be able to run off. So it's a good idea to make your cut slanted away from the bud. When you're cutting roses, always look for those eyes that are pointing to the outside of the rose bush. You want your roses to develop, to develop up and out and not inward because that, that's how you get crossing branches. So as this rose bush is coming out of dormancy, it's sending up all of its energy to these buds because this is where it's going to produce stems and this is where the flowers are going to come out. So when you make your cut, it stops that energy and it directs it to the eye of the bud. When you prune mature rose bushes, you always want to look for the weakest canes and the oldest canes that um, possibly have a little bit of damage to it. So we have a little, we can see a little bit of damage to these stems. Uh, we're working with nursery plants, so we have plants in containers. But just to show you the coloration on this stem, um, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna take it back even further because these two branches would cross. So we're gonna go back to this, this is about the second bud, leaf bud, on that, coming off of that stem. And then, you know, as I turn this around, I can see more damage. And when you're cutting your stems, if you see any, any brown on the inside of your stems or any sort of canker, you want to cut down until you get um, healthy tissue. So what healthy tissue is going to look like is the, the pith in the center of your stem is either going to be a white or a light green. So if you see brown or you see any sort of, um, any signs of disease or canker, Keep cutting down until you come to a nice, clear um, colored pith. It's like we talked about taking out the oldest um, and the weakest stems, um, taking out the damaged stems. Uh, one rule to keep in mind is if you have, um, you need to cut back down to where the stems are greater than the width of a pencil. So we're going to take the stem all the way back down to the first bud. So in southeast Louisiana, a great time to prune your roses, and when I say prune, I mean like your annual heavy pruning is in the month of February. Normally I'll tell people mid to late February is a great time to prune roses. This year we've had a warm, really mild winter, so the rose buds are starting, the eyes of the buds are starting to swell and they're starting to break. So it's time to prune our roses. 